Numerical methods is math on computers. So we're learning how to use computers to solve mathematical problems that are important to mechanical engineers. And we're trying to do it in a way that's really fun and teaches students skills that they are going to need to be successful in their other courses and in their research and in their future jobs. The students who take this course are typically in their first year in the graduate program in mechanical engineering. Some of them are master's track students and some of them are PhD track students. Well, one of the hardest things with numerical methods is that the data exists inside of a framework in the computer that you can't reach in and touch. And that can be challenging for students. You know, some of us have brains that naturally work that way, and some of us have to kind of develop that skill <laughs> a little bit. And so I try to come up with some challenges that have a connection to something that's physical and tangible. The card game that we're playing is a particularly slow version of a solitaire game. You know, some of them you get through it pretty fast, and then you know right away, you get that reward of like, I either won or I lost. This one is the longest one that I've ever played, and it kind of became an obsession in my house with my kids and our babysitter over the summer, like all playing it together. And then the students, they got to learn how to play the game physically, and then they have to wrestle with making their code, which is challenging, and so that takes them time investment. And then they get to the end, and it's almost instantaneous, you get that outcome. But then this really illustrates the power of numerical computing, because it's not just one instance of the game that you get. Once you've made the tool, then you can play a million instances of the game, and you can develop this deeper understanding of how it works. And then you start to get this is my favorite course that I teach. I try to go hunting for new challenges and puzzles and games because, you know, some of what we have to learn is a little dry. Uh, and so if we can mix that together with fun things like playing Sudoku or writing a card game simulator, then it makes it a little bit more lively and easier to get into the fun of it.